Prometheus already setting up his war. That was nasty. <laughs> that was pretty nasty. Uh, Prometheus already setting up uh, a pretty dominating lead here. Uh, now Prometheus, uh, if you don't know, uh, is the man here, so to say. He's uh, he's very. It's actually funny. He um, you wouldn't think it. Uh, but he's actually very Mewtwo King-like in his uh, philosophy of the game. He's very like, oh, you can, uh, you get away with this, you know, then you're not playing it right, you know. You should be doing this or doing that. He's very rigid with the game. Uh, and I think that does, uh, that sort of helps him. Yeah, but he's, he's got a sort of confidence about him that I kind of like. Uh, he's not playing a character as good as, like, you know, Sheik or uh, Marth. But he... Kind of one thing, Mewtwo King, like he had more confidence than uh, he's like kind of Mewtwo King, but with a, a bit of that confidence, uh, you know, nowhere near like the technical skill, obviously, as, as a king, but like uh, still uh, very like, oh, you do the right option and you're gonna win. Uh, and so far, it is paying off for him. Uh, but his move, his movement definitely on these platforms is uh, tricky. He's doing a good job here. Turn around. Oop. In there. Get back air. It's gonna shine it, but the uh, the trademark Prometheus high recovery is uh, it's always a tricky one to to uh, screw up. You just yeah, if you're unless you're sending him down, he uh, he always seems to figure out a way. Like he'll keep, he put he'll put you in a position like that where you know you'll be like, okay, what do I do? And that little bit of weight just allows him to capitalize and pounce. Like, even though he's off stage and it should be, you know, an easy kill like that, it's still uh, something where uh, you might panic. Uh, and especially with a character like Ganon that hits like a truck with his up B being a command grab. You know, definitely can screw people up. Ooh, this is it triple? Quad. Double. He's racking it up. He's styling. And he gets the backer. And he takes game one. All right. So going to game two here. Uh, we are going to... Dreamland. So uh, get your clappers out here. Uh, let's see if uh, Prometheus can keep it up here. Uh, clapping them cheeks. Uh, <laughs> or if uh, Jask is going to figure something out and uh, blow us away. So we're getting into this game, uh, game two. Prometheus with the, uh, the slide off back here there. Uh, just going out there. Uh, I think challenge sometimes foxes can uh, forget that you know characters that aren't Marth can challenge their up B. Uh, so yeah, the back airs, uh, back airs from like uh, Falco and uh, Cannon and uh, Fox, other foxes. You know what I mean? Like it's it's something where you just sometimes you just want to do a uh, a simple thing that you do in any other game. You just throw out a back air and hit them at the right time. But uh, Jask's taking this uh, this stock uh, keeps it pretty even uh, right now. I know uh, this percent seems like Prometheus leading by a lot, but usually leads by a lot more. So but anyway, uh, Prometheus takes that stock uh, with ledge grab, gets the weight, does the uh, high uh, down air. Uh, not gonna work out for him. Kind of volley. Ooh, he's volleying with that uh, F tilt there. He knows that Jask wants to keep going in, and he kind of styles on him with that. It's the back air. It's a slow walk. Does up air. Doesn't work, but uh, gets him in a position where he still has to fight for stage. And those weights, ah, not going to pay off. And that's tough for Jask because he uh, he's trying to uh, to play patient, but uh, Prometheus just pounces at the right moments, and it's just uh, it's making all the difference. And now he's on his uh, last stock here. Let's see how uh, Prometheus closes this out. It's 
back air. So a precarious position, but uh, doesn't get the shine. I think he's gonna shine there. Uh, but uh, does get the stock. Uh, Prometheus, though, tries the attack. Ooh, this is twice. Oh, catches the uh, get up attack. Puts him in a good percent. Ah, but now Prometheus has stage again. And he knocks him off. There's a good nair there to uh, take back some stage there from Jasp. But, ooh, Prometheus with a rare uh, miss on that down throw read. Uh, misses again. Jazz going to take advantage of that and uh, keeps it kind of even. Uh, very surprising to say the least. But uh, we'll see if Prometheus closes it out here. We've got prime real estate. Uh, gets back on stage. Jask is doing a good job at uh, faking Prometheus out, where Prometheus likes this sort of range where he keeps you uh, beyond uh, the uh, bottom two platforms, uh, beyond that little uh, range there between ledge and uh, platform. And uh, he just wants to keep you there. And Jask is doing a good job at uh, playing with that range, knowing that Prometheus wants to do that. But eventually, Prometheus is too good a player. And um, he's going to take that game, too. Uh, by just invading space. And we're going back to Dreamland here. Let's see how much for damage. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Get hit by that. Ecto volleys. It's the fair. Ooh. A little crouch to mix him up. Jas uh, got nervous and uh, didn't get the right angle there. Yeah, maybe it's gonna take this first stock. Uh, a little pressure. Ooh, the, the mashes from Jask. He's just avoiding those uh, those uh, scenarios entirely. Gets him here. Ooh, the little weight there. Did a good job. Ooh, turn around. Turn around again. Bear. Oh, he messes up there. That's tough. That's gonna be tough. Trying to play the space game. Ooh. Gets knocked off that. Absorbs the damage. Gets it, but uh, no, Jask takes stage. Again, Jask is doing a good job at not getting hit by these uh, these fares at a down smash, which is keeping it closer uh, than these games should be. Uh, but yeah, Prometheus just kind of taking it. Ganon with all this kill power, you know. Fox has to. Fox actually does have to do a lot. So you, uh, when you you have a you're up against a player like Prometheus, you know, it is really an uphill battle. You know, despite Ganon, you know, not being a, as good a character as Fox, you do need to hit all those combos. So ooh, that was a weird interaction. Oh, this almost goes for the triple. Maybe maybe could have actually gone for the triple, but it doesn't get it. It's a little trade here. This is the uh, F-Tilt Volley. Should I F-Tilt him again? But, uh, looks like Jask is going to be killed. Alright, and, uh, that's the game for me. He just takes a 3-0. But, uh, actually not a bad chilling, I would say, from Jask there. Uh, I think there's not really much I would say there. Like, I think actually Jask didn't play too bad. Uh, I think just capitalizing on your reads. Like, that's that's one of those situations where you're like, oh, I played pretty well. I just need to go home and practice my combo game and just make sure I'm hitting. Once I get those punishes, I'm hitting more. Uh, I think the strategy was there.